Hey, hey guys, it is such a beautiful day. It is Dallas Gordon here, spiritual business mentor. Um, and I am back with another video. And guys, I wanted to kind of change up the scenery. Um, I'm getting out these days. Weather is better, which is my favorite, favorite time of the year here where I am when it is just warm and beautiful outside. Birds are singing. I'm just gonna turn around here, guys, okay? So today, guys, I wanna talk about um, some of the most common business missteps or mistakes that you are making right now today in your business that are stunning your growth that are keeping you from where you are trying to go guys i've been to like five different locations <laughs> out here trying to find the best lighting trying to find the the best noise free area because there's a lot of things going on out here people cutting grass doing the do okay so hopefully this works i was like we're just gonna stop and just get it done um so if you don't know me yet once again my name is dallas gordon i'm a spiritual business mentor marketing expert um, author speaker all the above okay but i'm on a mission to help womanpreneurs impact driven womanpreneurs guys to get in true alignment with their spirit and their business to master attraction marketing and dominate product sales in your industry. So if you're looking to do any of those things, guys, you are in the right place. You are um, on the right channel. I want you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, guys. I've got some amazing things going on. If you wanna work further with me, check out the description box. Feel free to DM me over on IG at Coach Dallas Gordon um, and don't forget to join my Facebook group, Ecom for Woman, just to, you know, get those updates and not miss out on anything that I've got coming up um, soon. We are, today is June 1st, 2021. So if you are listening to this video around this time, in July of 2021, I'm going to be doing a free group coaching experience, okay, with me some of my top clients have gotten some amazing amazing breakthroughs just from these coaching calls guys i'm going to be coaching a group for free first come first serve so be looking out for that link to sign up okay guys be sure to follow me across platforms so you do not miss out on that group coaching session okay so today guys i'm going to be basing these common business business mishaps or missteps or mistakes based off of my own journey and ones that I really, really believe that can help you on your own path. And guys, definitely comment below as you're listening and let me know if any of this resonates with you, okay? I'm gonna be kind of looking around, guys, watching my surroundings. <laughs> so anyway, guys, okay. So number one, one of my biggest um, business missteps, guys, and I'm planning on doing five, but if I drop more, all good okay it's trying to be an island all off to myself guys when I initially quit my job okay and I may walk a little bit you guys can come with me when I initially quit my job guys um, to do business full-time I really really thought that I was getting away guys from um, people okay um, I've always been kind of like a loner what they would call an introvert although I'm just really sensitive and intuitive versus an introvert but I'm probably what they would call an introvert a loner and one of the most exciting things guys about me starting my own business was that I thought that I was getting away from people <laughs> so I thought that I could just kind of do business do it guys behind the scenes where I didn't have like a lot of people around and I really thought, guys, that that was the way to go. And as I have become mature in business and mature in entrepreneurship over the years, guys, I have realized that that is far from the truth, that people need people. Collaborations are very, very powerful. So not only have I gotten, you know, as far as I have from my amazing friendships and connections that God has blessed me with, but also with collaborating, whether it be you know, if you're a speaker or you're a teacher or a coach, whether it be collaborating with other coaches in your space, doing conferences, um, if you are a product seller, whether you are collaborating with bloggers, major influencers in your niche or with different people, it's very, very important to connect yourself, get connected and collaborate guys with other people. Um, it is not all about 
you per se. It's not all about you. Remember that God wants to use you to reach a greater audience, guys. And in order to do that, you wanna be open to collaborating with other people, okay? Um, and that's going, what that's gonna do, guys, is that's going to broaden your reach, okay? That's gonna put you out there so that you can shine your light a little brighter to more people. Whereas if you had worked alone, as I was doing at first, you're an island all off to yourself. It's up to you to reach people and it can cause you to reach people a lot slower. So in my business, guys, I've understood now and understand now the power of collaborations, the power of working with other people and tapping into, wow, that was loud, <laughs> and tapping into other audiences. All of this, guys, is super, super important um, on your journey and to reach where you need to go faster. So if you think that being in business is all about doing you and being an island, you know, all off to yourself, business is not about that. Business is the opposite. It's about um, building relationships and establishing connections, okay? So connections, guys, are going to be crucial and super, super important when it comes to you doing business. Okay, so number two, guys, another one of the mistakes that I made in my business was that I was not mindful of the type of life that I wanted to create when I kicked off, you know, my business. I wasn't mindful of the type of life that I wanted to create, guys. I just kind of dove in um, and I didn't consider the type of experience that I wanted to create for myself and my family. So I always teach my clients, guys, that when you are starting a business or even if you've already started your business but maybe you are not like a hundred percent happy guys you're not happy with how your business is going maybe you feel too busy maybe you feel un um, overworked and underpaid you need to go back to the drawing board you need to go back to that paper and pen and you need to start to write down the type of life that you want to create you want to start to describe you know on paper what type of life you want to create and you want to make sure that you build your business according to that you don't want to build your business according to scarcity fear or rushing oh i want to quit my job by a certain date so i'm going to do the most so i can make that happen and then later on i'm going to build a business i love you don't want to create a prison for yourself guys you don't wanna create a business that you hate. And I'm actually gonna be recording another video or possibly going live about this topic because you definitely don't wanna make the mistake of doing that. You wanna make sure that you are creating a business that you can be in love with. And yes, every now and then, you will lack motivation, okay? You won't always be a thousand percent motivated to get up out of bed and to do business every day. It's still going to take, you know, that discipline, that perseverance, you know, that persistence, that consistency, right? But you don't want to create something that you hate. You don't want to create another job for yourself. You don't want to create a prison for yourself when you're doing business. So what I've learned, guys, is that you need to take time to sort of map out the type of life that you want to create. So for instance, if I want to create um, a business where I'm able to travel at any time, I'm able to drop what I'm doing, I'm able to travel at any time, I'm able to run my business at any location in the world, then I don't need to bog, bog myself down with tasks and things that don't allow me to pick up and run my business from everywhere. Would it be ideal for me to have my own warehouse or full of workers. It would be ideal for me to make all of my own products. Probably not. I probably need to outsource those tasks because I want to have more freedom to move about. So make sure that you are patterning your business activities behind the type of life that you want to live. The number, well, I don't even know what number we're on. Maybe we're on number four, three. I don't know. But the next business mistake is not showing up enough thinking that you're being too salesy thinking that you're stepping on too many toes i just want to remind you that those commercials that you see on your television and in your email inbox and even on your text message every single day from the major companies like amazon walmart target clorox bleach all these different companies guys they are not worried about stepping on toes guys they are not worried about marketing to you too much they are not worried about being too salesy they are not worried about stepping on your toes guys these guys are marketing to you every second of the day in every single way because they know that out of sight is out of mind and if they are not marketing to you 
consistently, they know that they could possibly lose the game, okay? So no matter how big they are, they're still staying in touch with you. They're still staying in front of you. When you think about bleach or you think about laundry detergent, when you think about soap, these companies wanna be at the top of your mind so that you can make a purchase with them. So your marketing counts. Every single step that you take, guys, in your marketing, 100% counts. So some of you guys are not showing up the way that you need to. You're not speaking the way that you need to. You are not executing the way that you need to because you don't believe that people really want to hear from you. You believe that people are tired of you. Maybe you need to get out from marketing in front of your family and friends so much and you need to go where the people are that actually need and desire your product and service and you need to get content out there on the internet and you need to start talking to them. So that's another huge mistake that you can make guys is not showing up enough for fear of being too salesy or stepping on toes or whatever you are afraid of. The last one I wanna share with you guys is breaking the mold. You are too afraid to break the mold. You don't think that people will buy from you if you show up authentically as you are. You are trying to be someone else. You are trying to do the same things that you see everyone else doing. You are afraid to show up in a way that compliments you. You are afraid to show up in your gift. That is another thing, guys, that is stopping you from reaching the destination, from, from reaching and breaking through so that the people who need to hear you can hear you, right? You are trying to do what everybody else tells you to do. And apparently, guys, that way is not working for you. So I'm urging you today to listen to your heart, lean in, listen to your spirit, and step into your full power and unleash the greatness that God has placed inside of you. This universe has been built to support you. All you have to do is take a step, okay? So maybe, you know, people are saying that you need to do email marketing. Maybe email marketing isn't your jam. Maybe text message marketing is. Some people may be telling you to do live video. Maybe being on live video, guys, isn't your jam. Maybe pre-recorded video is. Whatever your jam is, you just need to step into it and 100% rock it out. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know which one of these you've been struggling with and which one of these you are going to step in your power and overcome after listening to this video. I love to hear from you guys in the comments. If there's more topics you want me to cover, let me know, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to, and definitely follow me across platforms, guys. Don't forget, I'll be hosting um, a group coaching experience soon. I want you to be a part of it. Be sure to connect with me across platforms so you don't miss out on that link to sign up, okay guys? Be blessed.